Hello everyone, I'm Grish Brigader. If you're new around here, or this came up and you're recommended, consider subscribing. It helps the channel out a lot. And, uh, if you're not new, um, hi. <laughs> Regardless, I hope you like the video. What was Goose's worst injury? You reached the first 10 minutes, you gotta know. Not, you know, honestly, it, not a lot has happened to me. I think that my worst injury, so, okay. I used to work at this, um, at a factory back when I was like, 18 19 something like that i was i was young i was a youngin um and uh, my dad was a supervisor there uh we used to build like cat furniture like you know like the the fucking things that uh you know where cats just lay or like climb scratch posts things like that we used to make those kinds of things and i used to work uh, just in productions so my the scratch post was a very small post kind of like this one uh or rather like this one right here uh it it was just covered in carpet, right? Like, f full on carpet all the way to the top. And at the top, it had like two, like a string uh, or an elastic, right? That had like dangling feathers and stuff like that. And so my job at that point was to like cap off the, the, the post at the top with like the, the, the elastic just hanging on each side. Because as you can, like those trees are all covered in carpet. Uh, I was the one that was like stapling carpet and stuff like that to like the wood that they had uh, and uh, Because my dad was a supervisor. He wanted to show everyone that I Didn't get any sort of special treatment uh, He wanted to he wanted to make sure that everyone knew that just because I was his son I wasn't gonna get any sort of special treatment and that's fine. You know don't don't get me wrong, I told him off the bat, like, hey, when we're at work, I'm not your son, I am the same as everybody else. And, um, it turns out, my dad, in order to prove that, that he didn't give me any sort of special treatment, he actually treated me worse than everybody else. Um, to the point in which, when I was working, I was working a little slow, because it was, uh, it was, I think, my first or second time doing the job that I was asked to do, which was essentially just cap off like the, the scratch posts. And in order for me to do that, uh, there was, we used like a, a, a staple gun. These staple guns have like a, uh, a little lock or a little latch all the way here at the bottom, right? That stops it from you just, just fucking firing this gun. Uh, the staples were about, uh, I want to say like this big. Uh, so that they could it could go all the way into the wood and then make sure that the uh, that the uh, carpet had like good grip right um, so because I was moving slower my dad decided to come over to me and tell me how much of a bad job I was doing and uh, pro then proceeded to yell at me in front of everybody so that again to prove that I didn't get any sort of special treatment, but it kind of made it seem like he was just overcompensating, you know, like he was overdoing it for the sake of overdoing it. It was, it, and so I got mad, right? I'm a fucking child at this point still. And so like, I can't really control my emotions all that well. So I got mad and I, and I said, you want to, you want me to start doing this shit fast? I'll do it fast. And then I just started going crazy. I started stapling like really fast while like trying to keep my fingers in check, right? Um, well, I didn't do a very good job because when I hit the, the top of the post with the staple gun, it slipped. So because it had pressed on the wood, the latch had like gone in and there was no longer a lock. So I hit the trigger and the staple just goes right through my thumb. It goes just directly through this, through, through this thumb right here. And <laughs> it went directly through from like this, from here all the way here. You, it went through my nail as well. Like it was not great. Um, so my dad had left at this point and, um, my thumb was now, it now had like a staple. <laughs> it had a big ass staple just inside the thumb. So I just... You know, I looked at it. I'm like, oh, well, that happened. And then I walked away from my station. I walked up to my dad and um, uh, I, I just casually went, hey, do you uh, do we have like a like a first aid kit or something? Do we have like something that uh, that I can use? And he's like, why? What happened? I went, 
I stapled my thumb. <laughs> so he just <laughs> He's like, "What? How do you do this?" And I well, and I went, "Well, you told me to work faster and you yelled at me and I got angry, so I worked faster and uh I stapled my thumb." So he took me to the bathroom and he got like the the first aid kit and then like he he took the nail off, um poured some like solution on it uh so that it would it would like cauterize faster. Um, and then he put gauze on it, and that was that. But that, I think that's by far the worst injury I've ever had. <laughs> You're a chef and had crazy injuries, and this is still grossing you out? <laughs> Pepe cringe. No. Uh, but yeah, I, um, uh, that, that is by far, I think, the craziest, uh, or the worst injury I've ever had. No broken bones? No. Luckily, I've never broken a bone. I think I once injured myself just hopping over a fence. And I still don't know because I was never, I didn't, I wasn't allowed to go to the hospital to check it out. But I think I fractured my ankle uh, jumping over a fence. Like I slipped and like it bent my ankle. Uh, it went like this. <laughs> but no, I have, I don't, I've never uh, broken a bone before. I think, like I said, I think I fractured my ankle jumping over a fence once. Um, but I wouldn't know because I, I, I was not allowed to go to the hospital uh, because my mom didn't believe that I had hurt myself. So your dad was in the same way, didn't take the hospital until your foot turned purple. Yeah, my ankle was swollen and purple. And my mom still still didn't believe that, it, that I, I like fractured it. And she's like, oh, well, if you fractured it, you wouldn't be able to walk on it. And I'm like, I can't walk on it. Like, the, <laughs> she forced me to like go to the store, or, like do shit, like go outside and like do er like run errands and stuff. And I'm like, and I'm like, I can't put pressure on my foot because it hurts like a bitch. <laughs> and she's like, oh, well, it was fra if it was fractured, you wouldn't be able to like, you know, use it. And I'm like. I, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't use it. <laughs> it's like I'm missing two fingers. Oh, well, if you were if you were really missing two fingers, you wouldn't be able to do this. And I'm like, I, I can't. The, the fingers are gone, mom. Use it. Exactly. Just just fucking use your ankle forehead.